Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And if you looked at the description, you said, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Low carb meatloaf? Since when does this guy do healthy stuff? I, I, I don't know. I gather the kids around. This is something I've never done before. Uh, I got a, a bunch of buddies that are on a website called Let's Talk Barbecue.com. Have you checked out Let's Talk Barbecue.com? You should. It's a great, it's a great site to be on. They do just more than a lot more than barbecue, just general cooking, but a lot of great chefs on there. And I, I'm honored to be on that site. But I got a couple people on there. They're all on this low carb thing. Now, personally, I've never been on a low carb diet. I'm sure at some point in my future of my life, I'm sure that someone will say, hey, you got to be on a low-carb diet. So I figured, okay, I'm going to try this. And uh, I don't know how it's going to tur- turn out because uh, it's really not kind of what I do. But but I've got, and, and if you're wondering where I got this from, because you know, everybody always asks, where did you get that from? Where's it? And a lot of times I find stuff on the internet. Have you ever had that happen where you find something on the internet, you say, oh, that's cool, and then you and then you go out of it, and then, and then you go, where was that again? You try searching for it, you can't find it? Well, this time I wrote it down because a lot of times I can't find what I found. So this one is called Susan's to Die for Low Carb Meatloaf. So type in Susan's to Die for Low Carb Meatloaf, and you'll come up with a variation of this. So I'm, I'm trying to keep it as close as I can. I've got... Um, I've got some 90-10 ground beef. I've got something that I, you know, this kind of rubs against uh, every fabric that a uh, barbecue that I usually do. But Italian ground turkey. Uh, actually, it's Italian seasoned ground turkey. It called called for ground chicken, but I couldn't find that. So I'm sure ground turkey will be just fine. And I saw that it was Italian seasoned, so I figured oh, maybe that'll give a little bit more spice to it. And then uh, instead of using bread or something like that, we're gonna crunch up some of this. Uh, pork rinds. Uh, that's interesting. And then I uh, use one packet of the uh, onion soup mix. I've got uh, two eggs with a little spice in there. And then for the ketchup, oh man, we're really getting healthy here. What's going on? You know, Reduced sugar uh, tomato ketchup. This says it's 75% less sugar than our regular ketchup. Uh, I don't know. I haven't tasted it yet. It kind of looks like ketchup, but I, I don't know. And then for our, our spice today, we're going to be using something really cool. This is a uh, it's called Way Out West Trail Dust. It's made by Saver Spices, www.saverspices.com. And just to give you an idea of what this stuff is, it's all natural. Uh, Way Out West is a combination of dried herbs and veggies with a tiny pinch of salt. That's it. No nuts, corn, soy, wheat, MSG, glutens, artificial cl- colors, flavors, or preservatives. So that, that's what we're using here. Check them out at uh, www.saverspices.com. And uh, we'll get this, uh, we'll give you a look-see as we progress with this. And oh, by the way, what are we cooking it on? We're going to be cooking this on a Kamado today. We're going to be doing this on the Visions Ceramic Kamado. I want to try and get a bunch of smoke into this. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it all turns out. Keep on watching and you'll see it well, too. Folks, there's our loaf. Uh, we're just getting the Visions uh, Ceramic all heated up. And uh, I guess it's turned out okay. Like I said, I've never done this before. Uh, I'm debating how I'm going to transfer this over to the to the uh, to the grill. So I've got my pizza my pizza peel out here, and I'm going to put some uh, cornmeal on there and put it on there, and hopefully it'll slide off real nice like onto the grill surface. So uh, we'll see you down by well, down. We're down at the grill, and uh, you know I haven't cooked on the Vision Ceramic for a while now, so I figured I'd just do a an overview of what's going on here. Uh, I've got my lump charcoal in there. I'll use an electric starter to get it started. We're going to put, uh, I've got a couple chunks of uh, just cherry wood that we're going to put in there. Give us a little additional smoke. Uh, Put our holder in there. And then we're going to put our diffuser plate because we want to do this indirect. And then our grates, our double grate here. We're going to put a frog mat on top of that, which, eh, I don't know, maybe we won't put a frog mat on top of that because it's not going to really fit so well. Uh, let's see what happens here. Oh, that might work. Okay, so we're going to use the frog mat on top of there. And, uh, God, I hate to trim it. Uh, maybe we won't. No, yeah, we're going to use it. So, uh, we use the frog mat on top of that. Sorry for being so indecisive. And, uh, Let's get our meatloaf and get her on there. All right, folks. Uh, there it is. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. Sometimes things do go right. So uh, there it is. We got a nice smoke rolling. Uh, get this closed down. Going to close our vents up a little bit here. And um, obviously, when I, there's turkey in there. 
So we want to make sure that we take this up to 165 internal. And we'll give you a look, see as we cross. We're back and uh, you can see uh, we're down at the vision. It's been about an hour and a half now. Things are smoking our way pretty nice as you can see. Uh, our temperature is right, leveled off right around 300 degrees. And we're going to take our um, we're going to take our thermal pop here and uh, you can see our exterior temperature is 49 degrees. So we're going to take our thermal pop here and check the temp temperature real quick. If I can say that. And um, oh man, look at that. We're looking pretty nice. So. All right, so as you can see there, we're about 125, 126. We got about 40 degrees to go, which is perfect. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of this stuff back on there, the ketchup on there, the reduced sugar stuff, the low carb stuff, in keeping with the the, the low carb uh, theory here. And we're just gonna drizzle that on there. And that should be enough, and uh, we'll get this covered up, and uh, we'll give you another look, see as we move Alright folks, there's uh, a little over three hours, um, oh man, look at that, looking looking mighty nice, smells mighty nice. Just cut a little bit more of this off here. Uh, if you want, you know, if you're looking for me to tell you something, what I liked, what I didn't like, I, for, the, for the most part, I, I think everything turned out good. The, the only thing I didn't... You know what, I have a whole new appreciation for ketchup because uh, <laughs> that stuff that's the, the low carb stuff with 75% less uh, sugar in it, I'm telling you what, um, it's, it's, uh, it's disgusting in my opinion. Um, it tastes like vinegar. Um, uh, so when you're eating ketchup, just think about you're eating sugar. So we're going to, I got one more step, so keep on watching. You're going to, oh, what do you mean? Well, come on. I thought this was done. No, 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 no. One more thing, and keep on watching, and we'll show you. Well, hey, folks. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> you want to see what we're doing different here. Uh, this is not the low-carb part, but uh, take a look Take a look at this uh, meatloaf. Look at the smoke ring. Very nice. So let's let's turn that over. You got one of them turned over already. Oh, man. Look at that. And let's get our, our Texas toast. That's what we got going on here. Texas toast on the Blackstone griddle. Oh man, gonna be delicious. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the low carb part. That's the low carb part, but that's not. So, uh, we'll uh, give you a look, see once you're plated up. Thanks for watching. Oh man, there's a sam. Oh, <laughs> those look really good. Uh, really not a low carb anymore. The meat is, but the bread isn't. And you know what? I'm gonna put some ketchup on there. And guess what? I ain't gonna use that low carb stuff because I did not like it. So, put that on there. Folks, I'll tell you what, if you're into low carb, the, the meatloaf itself was great. Uh, fantastic. I, you know, I was a little leery with the turkey in there and that, you know, everything else. It was just, you know, but you know what? Turned out really good. If you're on a low carb diet, uh, check it out. Uh, I think it turned out very good. Uh, and as always, folks, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube. Let's talk barbecue.com. And as always, I can't say it enough. Thanks for watching.